Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we are doing democracy, Chinese style. <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is because I actually asked you a while ago when the ships were on sale which one you would, would you like me to take a look at? And the majority of you said the Luoyang. So I bought the Luoyang, which is a Chinese ship. But originally she was the USS Benson. And not just any Benson class, the destroyer, she, the, she was the actual USS Benson, which after, I think in the 1950s or so, was given over to the Chinese, who called her the Luoyang. And then, after a while, they got a better one. And they also, also called her the Luoyang. So this is all very confusing. But this in here, for all intents and purposes, is a Benson. So... How does that thing compare? She hasn't actually fought in World War II, so there's nothing really interesting about the Luoyang Benson, to be really said. But how does she compare to the actual Benson? Now, I don't have the actual Benson, so we're going to have to kind of interpolate a little bit here. But uh, let's, let's take a quick look and, and see how this thing goes. So, Tier 8 Premium Pan-Asian Destroyer. I'm really running short on Pan-Asian Captains. I hope we get some more soon. Uh, Benson Class, yes, that is the actual USS Benson. Um, it looks, yeah, lo looks similar. We can compare the numbers with the actual Benson quite in a bit. Relatively sturdy ship. She is reasonably fast with 37 knots and uh, she is extremely maneuverable. Now, the guns. I, even without looking, I know that the Benson has five guns. The Loyang only has four. And from what I've read, they removed one of the gun to get more um, anti-air on this thing. But I could be wrong about this. But well, she has four guns instead of five, which is a bit of a bummer. Other than that, they are the relatively good 127mm uh, American uh, destroyer guns. So basically, she's got very similar guns to the Sims, in a way. But we'll have to compare the actual values in, in a second. Um, they turn extremely rapidly, which is good. And she gets torpedoes, uh, two, qu two quintuple launchers with a 6.9 kilometer range. And uh, they are quite slow as torpedoes go, but um, they, do, they do a decent amount of damage and they reload reasonably fast. So all in all, a relatively well-rounded ship, I'd say. She has some workable AA, but again, this is a tier eight. Eh, you're not gonna shoot down many planes in a destroyer. Her concealment is not the best. So with all things considered, I've got her down to 5.4 kilometers, which means she will get outspotted by Japanese things. And uh, this actually and honestly has been a little bit of a problem. It gets somewhat mitigated by her ship skills because unlike the Benson, which gets a defensive AA consumable, she gets the sonar. And um, other than that, the regular engine accelerator and the smoke. So what we have here, well, an American destroyer in uh, in a different paint, really, with a sonar instead of a defensive AA, and the rest looks and one less main gun. The rest looks relatively similar. Now let's have a quick look at the actual Benson in game and see how that compares. Like again, I don't have the actual values because I don't have unlocked the Benson, but here you see she gets the defensive AA. Um, other than that, armor looks extremely similar. Speed looks rather similar. Turn time's a bit worse, but really three seconds is fine. There are five guns, and uh, yes, they do look very comparable. I don't think they've been mod modified much. She also gets the quintuple torp launchers. She also gets a 6.9 kilometer range. She gets a very, very slightly worse um, AA, but with the actual defensive AA, the Benson would actually be better in anti-air duties, I believe. And um, can't really see about her concealment, but it looks pretty, it looks like, well, we got 6.2, so with a 10%, we'd get about to... Ooh, that's, that's a pretty terrible concealment. It's probably 5.5 5 .5 kilometers, uh, a little bit less than that with all the with all the, um, the the modules in the build. So it might be that the uh, Luoyang is just slightly better in terms of stealth than the Benson, but again, I can't really verify that. So how have I set her up? Well, um, Given that there wasn't really any logical choice here to make, I have actually gone with the very unusual choice for me, the aiming system mod one, because uh, the turrets already spin very fast. So at least this gives both the turrets and the torpedo tubes a bit of a boost. 
With a 3.6 second, second reload, um, main battery mod 2 wouldn't really have made that much of a difference. But um, that probably would have been my second choice. I've got the acceleration in here for uh, the propulsion modification because, well, um, I like my destroyers to be <laughs> accelerating and decelerating fast because it is one of the best defenses you have when you're knife fighting other destroyers. And I've got the concealment mod in here. Uh, to get the concealment down a little bit. And still, uh, we are not the most stealthy destroyer out there. So if we are facing off against Japanese things, at least we have a sonar, which probably makes it a little bit better than the Benson. The, the captain, um, he, she, shares, she shares him with all the other Pan-Asian destroyers that I have, so the setup can't be really that specialized. Uh, he's not very far, far ahead either, so that's all good. He's got the preheating skill, which is quite useful, and he's got the daredevil skill when you're when you're down on on your luck or your health. Um, don't really want to specialize him on recon and surveillance, which because it's, uh, the other destroyers don't have it. I'm really just waiting for additional um, uh, Pan-Asian uh, commanders. I'm pretty sure they're going to come because, well, we are getting the Pan-Asian line. All in all, um, again, ha not having played the Benson, I don't have a comparison, but I am not super impressed with the ship. Uh, the major shortcomings for me are the relatively poor concealment and um, and the, the, the really the lack of, of firepower. I mean, the Sims at Tier 7 has four guns and they're very good. I mean, if we have a quick look at the Sims. I mean, Sims is one of my favorite destroyers in the game. Where is she? She's somewhere around here. There she is. Uh, the Sims gets... Um, the Sims gets, uh, yeah, the Sims gets the four guns at um, at tier seven though, and they're very very good guns. But um, the Sims also gets get seven point eight kilometer range torpedoes. So mm, yeah, I'm, for a tier eight, you get into two nine battles. Things can get rather unpleasant around around in these parts. So um, may, maybe this is just a matter of me having to get used to it. Anyway, we will see. Let's give her a spin. All right, here we are, and we're in a top tier battle. We've got one, two, three, four battleships. The Brooklyn, the Shores, and the Akatsuki. So the Akatsuki can outspot us. The Brooklyn and the Shores, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful about, because if these people know what they're doing, they are extremely, they can be extremely dangerous. But they're both uh, tier sevens, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. We're playing Aurora, and um, well, where are we going? Well, we're not in a super stealthy ship, so we're going middle because I don't want to sneak around on the side in <laughs> in what's basically an American destroyer which can be outspotted by other things. So let's go. Let's just uh, put the engine boost, boost in. We're going to head towards the center. And I think we have an easy on our side, so we're going to get some air scout. And that's, uh, that's a good thing because uh, that, that means we know where we're going and what we're getting ourselves into. Now we always have the smoke and we can use it if we get in ourselves into a pickle. But, um, you know, I, I prefer to know what I'm up against. So there come the planes. Uh, very good. Well done. He's going, he's going on a wide scouting mission. Uh, there. What's There's one of the cruisers. There's the other cruiser. Okay. One of the cruisers goes through these two islands. And there's Yakatsuki. Okay. I'm not going to mess with Yakatsuki at this point because there's a shores. There's our Aka. He's probably stealth torping the shores. And let's see, can I get uh, a torp drop onto the shores? Yeah, okay, Aka is bailing, but I think the sh uh, I think you can't too close. The shores have spotted him. So uh, I'm, I'm dropping him anyway. I don't know. He hits. He did get some good hits into the shores, but uh, he's turning out. So either he's turning around completely or he's going to try and do a flank run um, because we are going a little bit heavy on one side here. Now, I don't know if these torps have range. In a Sims, he would have been dead because uh, I had to talk, I have the top range. So I'm just going to keep opening up on him. Uh, let's try not to get hit. Okay, and I'm target getting hit. shot at by North Carolina as well. So it's time to change our targets. And um, I am very, very close to him. <laughs> four, four kilometer range to North Carolina. So I'm going to pop my smoke here. Make sure he overshoots. He's probably switching to, yeah, there come some high explosive shells in. I don't know if he's still firing, if that was just the secondaries. But um, oh, while I'm waiting for my torps to reload, yeah, I think my torps in her range against the shores. So uh, while I'm waiting for my torps to reload, I am actually just going to go back and forth and see what he's doing. And it looks like he's going straight lines, backwards in a straight line. The Akatsuki is um, 
is torping him as well, and that Shores is getting relatively close. So uh, we've got some battleships back here, so there shouldn't be a danger, but just to make sure. Um, he's probably otherwise Engine occupied, yep he is, so I can just get some shots out against him. Uh, gunboat destroyer, not gonna be good up there. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Battleship captains, if there is a destroyer five kilometers off your bow, do not sail in a straight line. <laughs> um, occasionally we wait and see what you're doing, especially when we're sitting in a smokescreen before just blindly dropping our torps. Now, next battleship, North Carolina, completely isolated. Who do I have with me? Uh, Yaka. North Carolina is busy shooting at other people. So I could either go stealth torp him or try and stealth torp him. And he's burning, which means he's damage controlling. Okay, I'm, I want to get him burned at this point. So I'm just opening up. He's probably uh, not really paying much attention anyway. And um, we, we're gonna have a torpedo suit for him going. Okay, there he's burning again. That's a perma fire. And I'm just really... This, he looks like someone who's sailing in a straight line. <laughs> he seems to be a bit of a topic this game. Uh, okay, let's we'll see if we can get another fire started. And there comes Kiaka as well. Okay, I am uh, just... The he's firing is under his, his, um, piercing at me. Uh, I know that the Akka is relatively vulnerable, so I'm just kind of tanking a little bit here for him and making sure that uh, he doesn't pay attention to the Akka coming right next to him. That's eight torpedo hits. Two were missing, and there comes the Akatsuki, passes by leisurely and just drops some torpedoes in his side. Well done, that was the idea. Very well done. Good job, you. And uh, that, we've cleaned that up. <laughs> yeah, I, I was able to take that hit. Uh, the Akka wasn't so sure. So uh, just making sure that he's paying attention to me and not that destroyer. All right, let's go back. And um, is there anything left? There are two battleships left. We're <laughs> just down to two minutes. So uh, this has been relatively successful, uh, which is not necessarily down to the prowess of uh, either me or the uh, the Luoyang, but more to the general, well, let me say, um, to, to the general friendliness of the enemy team of coming in straight lines and um, sailing in one by one, trying to rush uh, our cup without any kind of uh, idea whatsoever. Oh, that Gneiser now just torpedoed the Colorado. <laughs> oh dear. And he's on fire. Let's see if we can add to his misery, but um, yeah, he's dead. I don't want to kill still that one after all the work they have done. They can make that up between themselves. Oh, there's a North Carolina still. Um, Okay, can I get towards this guy before he's gonna die? <laughs> uh, probably not. Um, I'm not sure where he's going. Um, he seems to be maneuvering and not sailing in a straight line. So he's probably a lot um, more skilled than the rest of his team at this point. Well, well he's with him being the last one alive and such. Uh, so can I? I'm just gonna drop torch because I don't think he's gonna live long enough for me to <laughs> actually kill him. <laughs> Uh, not with everybody shooting at him, so um, just trying to drop two in his general direction um, and smoke up, just uh, no use really, but okay, he's burning, uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be dead before um, <laughs> before my torps ever get into uh, even into range of him. Uh, there he goes, okay. Well, that, that was quick. Um, thank you to the enemy team for being so obliging. <laughs> In, uh, in in taking my torpedoes but um, this is not a bad ship uh, don't get me wrong this is not a bad ship uh, you can stealth torp in her absolutely you're not gonna outspot everyone she's not overpowered uh, the only question I would raise is if you have if you can get a Benson with maybe slightly worse concealment and a um, and a, a, but in return a, a, another gun um, why would you go for this thing? Okay, yes, she does have a Hydro. Given. But, um, but other than that, many, many, there are many destroyers out. Go go up the German line, they all have Hydro. And even better guns if you want a DD Hunter. And uh, Hydro isn't really good for anything else other than DD Hunting. So, um, not one of the must-haves in my opinion. But certainly not a bad ship either. Uh, I'm uh, probably not going to be a ship I'm going to play very frequently. But um, not a bad ship, not a bad ship. So that's the Lu Yang. Thanks everybody for voting for this one. And uh, wow, let, let let me know what you think about this. Uh, if I'm if I'm all do if I'm all got, if I got it all wrong and she's actually a really really powerful premium, or if she really is just a Benson. <laughs> that's it for today. See you all next time. Bye.